I'm sitting uh, here at the Sony booth with uh, Mr. Katsumoto and I'm asking him about uh, the plans of uh, Sony on the DSLR market. Um, my first, first question is how uh, did the market accept uh, the new Alpha 100 DSLR camera? Yeah, the, fortunately the Alpha 100 was really well accepted in the world. So the, after the launch of Alpha, the, actually the, a lot of people are actually the buying this. And also the, we got uh, many prizes or the award from the, uh, some magazines. So, so far, uh, we believe it's really good. Um, although it knows many tricks, uh, it still has a higher price tag than um, some of its competitors. Do you think that simply the higher price that the larger number will uh, make it harder to sell the camera? Uh, the, actually, the, the most important feature of our camera is, uh, the, as you know, the Super SD shop inside. It's a kind of anti-shake mechanism inside the body. And then the which is applied to the, the all lenses uh, from the Konikami Nota days. We believe there is uh, there are 16 million lenses in the world from Minota days. And also we are now introducing the, a lot of alpha lenses. So actually the, uh, it was well accepted from the customer. So the, even though it's a, a little bit high, but uh, from our survey, the first customer to buy DSLR is now buying Sony Alpha with two lens kit mm -hmm. instead of one lens or the, the just body itself. So we believe and, uh, our kind of the super steady shot inside is well accepted. That's why they're buying the two lens kit. So they accept the higher price. Yeah, for that's right. For that kind of you know, for the features. features. Yeah. Right. Um, are you planning to to win the professional customers for the for your DSLR cameras in the future? Mm -hmm. um, at the moment, I'm, I'm uh, aware that this is not a professional camera, but uh, do you have plans to, to be on the professional side of the DSLR market as well? Mm. The, actually, we don't have any kind of a limitation to enter the, the segment of the DSLR. Uh, but uh, this Alpha 100 is a kind of the entry class mm -hmm. as a starting point of Sony. And then we are now uh, waiting for the market feedback how we have to make the next models, maybe uh, more affordable uh, the one, or the, uh, the step up, uh, stepping up the models like uh, 1,000 to 2,000 uh, US dollars range, or even higher. So the, actually after we got uh, many voices from the market, we like to decide mm -hmm. uh, how and why, what, when uh, we will launch the next one, or the, which kind of the segment is our the next one. Any plans, any dates, like is it going to come in next uh, year, in the beginning of the next year, mm. or maybe later? Still, it's a secret, so oh, it's, uh, a secret. it's not later, you, yeah, no, okay. we want us. Um, just recently, three uh, huge companies entered mm. to the DSLR market. Uh, one is obviously Sony. Um, how do you think this is going to reorganize the whole DSLR market? Mm. The, our kind of the target or the hope is not uh, to divide the small DSLR market today, uh, cut into pieces with the existing companies. What we like to do is uh, kind of expand the market uh, with the more how say, innovative DSLRs. Uh, so the actually the some of uh, electric, uh, electronics manufacturers are now uh, incoming to the DSLR market, but the, I think the, that's a very good thing to expand the market uh, to the next step of the SLR in the, in the field. Okay. How many uh, DSLR manufacturers are going to be on the market in four or five ah, years from that's now? That's a <laughs> difficult question. The, we, we believe the, maybe uh, some other companies uh, can uh, enter this market, but actually the, uh, from our experience, it is very difficult to start this DSLR business without any kind of demand system. Mm -hmm. So the starting from the scratch, mm -hmm. the defining the, the new demand system, 
and make many lenses from scratch. That is really tough uh, for kind of the newcomers. So the, today uh, there are a lot of the mount system from the existing uh, the camera makers. So the, we believe maybe one, two more, but you not know, so many. That's uh, what we believe. Will any uh, manufacturer disappear from the market? Ah, uh, we don't You're know. You're not expecting yeah, it. No. The, as I said, the expand the market and then enjoy that market is uh, the, what we like to do or we hope. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, my last question is that uh, once you had this uh, very interesting uh, camera, the R1, mm -hmm. um, what is the future of these bridge cameras with APS-C, almost APS-C mm -hmm. sized sensors? Uh, are we going to see any cameras like that in the future? Uh, we, actually, we believe there are a lot of customers' voice. Uh, so the, some customers would like to have uh, DSLR. So they are enjoying the, I say, the changing lenses to uh, experience the very good pictures with the kind of the very the characteristic lenses. Mm -hmm. So that kind of people like to take uh, the very nice photo with the each lenses. So the kind of the system solution is very important for that kind of customers. That's why uh, we enter this market and, uh, by the Konica Minota Alpha Man. On the other hand, there's a, a kind of the customers who like to have uh, just one camera, kind of a super camera, mm -hmm. uh, to take the all kinds of photos with only one body and lens. So that kind of customer would like to have a uh, kind of R1 type camera, the one super card size lens with one other super body, and then the just one camera can take uh, him everywhere. To shoot a nice photo, that kind of the needs is also very important for uh, some kind of customers. So, is, is there a demand? That, uh, is what, what are your customers say? Do they want to have a successor for for the R1? You oh. said that that if there's a demand, you are going to make. What what do you see now? Uh, R1. Yeah. yeah. Actually, the, some countries. Our one is very good. So the in the future we have a lot of customers who is actually in the current situation. Great. Thank you for Thank you very much.